Greetings class 3 students. Today our lecture is based on geography chapter major landforms. So, let us begin with the chapter. First, we will discuss what is landform. A landform is a feature on the earth surface that is a part of the terrain. The major landforms are mountain and hills, valley, plains, desert, plateau, islands, peninsula, delta, isthmus. So, first we will start with mountain and hills. A mountain is a very high part of the land while a hill is much lower in height. The tip of the mountain is called a peak. Mountains have steep slopes than the hills. When a group of mountains join together, they are called mountain range. Example, the Himalayas. Mount Everest is the highest peak in the world and the Andes is the world's longest range. Let us discuss about the uses of mountains and hills. Mountains are very high, so they can block cold winds from entering a place. Number 2, mountains are the source of many rivers, example river Ganga. There are very beautiful holiday destinations in mountains. Many plants, especially the medicinal plants and fruits are grown in mountains. They are used for sports like trekking and river rafting. Waterfalls in the mountains are used to generate electricity. The climate of the mountains is very cold and windy. Higher mountains are covered with snow throughout the year, while on other hand, hills due to the lower height are not cold as mountains. Now, our next category is valley. The low land between two mountains called valley. When river flows through these valleys, they are called river valleys and the climate is very comfortable here. Next is plateau. A plateau is an area of highland with a flat top which known uh, also called table land. Example Tibetan plateau known as the roof of the world and plateaus are rich source of minerals. We can give the example of Chota Nagpur plateau and Deccan plateau. The next is plain. Plain is a low land that is more or less on the same level as the sea. They are very fertile as the river flowing through them and deposit lot of sills. Example, the northern plain in North India. The next category is desert. It is a dry land with little or no water. Not many plants grow here. Two kinds of deserts are hot and cold. The hot desert example is third desert and the cold desert is Ladakh. Deserts are rich source of minerals and solar power. Now our next landform is peninsula. It is a land which has water on three sides and the example is India. The Another important landform is island. It is a body of land surrounded by water on all sides. It is formed when corals grow above the sea level. Example, Lakshwadip Islands. Now, what are corals? Corals are hard substance formed from the bones of very small creatures. 
and when they join together they form an island australia it is a continent but it also an island sri lanka and new zealand are island countries the next major landform is delta it is a landform at the mouth of the river they form by the deposition of the sediment carried by the river the example is sundarban delta the last category is isthmus it is a narrow stretch of land connects two large land masses example the isthmus of panama which links north america and south america so we finished the chapter major landforms students please learn the chapter thoroughly thank you and see you soon